come on! Oh, it's so tense. I don't want to go back to the beginning. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to uh, a very quick review. We're going to play a little bit of Dead Cells, which is uh, by a French developer called Motion Twin. Really, really nice roguelike uh, experience. And let's let's get this bow. And we got primary weapon, slice, 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 and then the bow. But you could also get the shield, I guess, if that's uh, more your thing. But obviously the block is relatively short. You got spells that will go on left trigger and right trigger. You got your little jump and your little dodge. Everything feels really, really smooth. Bust some doors open. It says that you can open them with right trigger, but it's way cooler to bust them down, I think. You pick up those little uh, blue whatnots, and those will be used to invest into equipments and spells and blueprints that you find in order to uh, to be able to find it in the dungeon a little bit later, randomly. You'll also get uh, a copy of it when you unlock it, but obviously you'll you'll need to use it a few times before you're you're fully proficient with it. And, uh, obviously this game is a lot like Dark Souls. I can- I can tell there's a lot of Dark Souls inspiration here. Oh my god. I blew myself up with that barrel. I'll go ahead and grab this health- health up real quick. And get rid of this guy that's, uh, throwing all them barrels. And here we have a- a random increase scroll. Health, strength, or skills. I prefer strength, but, um... Once I start getting, like, some grenades and magical spells, probably skills would be something to consider investing in. These little plants on the floor, um, will grow, basically like the Mario vines, but, uh, you don't find that until the Ramparts level, and I've reset all of my data in order to do this, uh, walkthrough, playthrough kind of thing. Found a secret, a little bit of Malachite. We'll use that gold later, I'm quite sure. Um... But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have reset the, the data, because things are a bit more difficult when you're, you know, without uh, multiple uses on your, your Estus Flask or whatever. The, the Healy thing that you have. Alright, another, another scroll for the levels, and we have unlocked our first blueprint just here. Bloodbath. It is a sword that causes bleeding. Rather nice early equipment, uh, especially if you're going for like a DOT kind of build which uh, a lot of the spells and things that you have can can go that way. They've got ivy traps, they've got bear traps, they've got stun grenades. There's really a lot of cool stuff to see in this game. And um, I'm not going to go scraping for gold just because I don't have the uh, the perk anymore that allows me to, to keep the gold after I die. It lets you keep like a percentage of your gold, as you will see. Hello, mister! Look who it is! They call me the Collector. I guess I'm about the closest you'll get to company down here. In exchange for the cells you, uh, collect from your enemies, I can give you a few useful items. If you get your hands on some blueprints, I'll see if I can put together a few more experimental items. So here we are. Uh, healing potion improvement. You now own a health class that you can use at any time. So that's definitely one that I want to get into. And, uh, yeah, the next... The next improvement will allow you to use your health class two times, three times, four times. And then you've also got uh, the gold recovery thing that I was talking about earlier. And uh, I can't quite afford the blood bath at the moment, so that's fine. Everything you buy here is yours forever. Even death can't take it from you. Let's just say that if you want more power, you should bring me more cells. Good. And now, prisoner, out of my sight. Bored in your presence. A little bit of uh, English there, but it's a, a French, a French game. Which, um, I think they did relatively well. Some of the things still lack the, uh, English translation, but overall I, I find myself not getting too lost in this game. I like the elevator right there. That's a really cool animation, and you can actually jump off the elevator as well. Um, you don't take fall damage in this game, but you will stun yourself for just a little while. And if there are enemies around, they'll definitely get in their, their free hit. So, try to avoid doing that, if at all possible. These guys are just punks. They're all punks. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, I fell down a cliff. <laughs> fell down a cliff doesn't kill me, but it does take away a, a rather large chunk of my health, so... That's not enjoyable. Try to avoid doing that in the future. And, uh, these wizards are just a pain in the ass. 
shooting through walls and things like that, which I guess makes sense. It is magic. I don't know how the fuck magic works. Nobody does. That's a fact. Okay, so there's nothing down here, but I will teleport back up to the top. Shazam! That's quite nice. Convenience, more than anything. Um, I can't really go back to the collector and refill my health flask or anything. You can't really cheese the game that way, which I guess is a, a good call to make. I'm just gonna jump over this fella, knock him down. I would like to find a shop or something. They also have cursed chests and things like this. Um, curses are actually pretty cool. They put like a set amount of enemies that you have to defeat before you can break the curse. There's some arrow action, which I haven't done before in this uh, playthrough. But I, I don't really like the the original arrows. The beginner's bow is quite weak. So is the beginner's sword, for that matter. But we're, we're going to make do with what we got. And I got the lightning bolt blueprint, which uh, should come in pretty handy if I'm able to craft that. You can see jumping down the ladders gives me a, a bit of damage, surprise damage on the enemies. But I did take a hit there. And you don't want to do that in this game. Taking hits is uh, not a good thing in any game, but in this one, you will end up dying and going back to the very beginning. And I don't get to keep my gold or any of that stuff either, so um, there's, there's really good motivation to not die. Dodge that arrow. It feels really, really smooth. I enjoy the, uh, the gameplay in this game extremely, extremely, extremely much. And I tried to open this door, but, uh, Dommage, it closed 55 seconds ago. So you do have to kind of rush through the stages in order to get to those timed doors. Uh, that's something like what it says in French. I ain't no, no French expert, though. I didn't even take it in high school. My, I could, I could talk to my sister, get her to do a translation. She speaks pretty fluent French, as a matter of fact. Um, but she ain't here. She's in America, I'm in the Philippines, it would just it would just uh, be a logistical disaster. And there, I stunned myself with a, a bit of fall damage. Oh, okay. Am I ready for an elite monster? I, I don't think quite yet. Uh, I gotta do it. It's the only way to get out. Well, if I defeat this elite monster, I'm going to uh, get my, my powers to, to tickle these plants into growing. But, uh... Yeah, it's really, really difficult to do it, so we'll, we'll just see how it goes. I'm not too excited. Okay. There's a, a timing thing that I'm not quite understanding here. Okay, just roll. We'll just roll. That's working nice. Oh, fart. I rolled the wrong way. Oh, shit. Okay. Out of ammo for my arrows. This is not good. I'll have to get in his face. Okay, a little stunned. I got one hit left in me. I think this is uh this is over, gentlemen. Oh my god. Come on! Come on! Oh, it's so tense. I don't want to go back to the beginning. I don't. I really don't. Yes! Oh, oh, I got the vine rune, so now I can uh, encourage the rapid growth of plants, which is uh, necessary to get me out of here. I have no fucking health left, though, so I don't know how much further I'm going to make it, but I will take this rune with me uh, the next time I die. Hmm, there's a thing here. Yes! Secret area unlocked. Oh, so these usually have like some sort of challenge um, and a timer as well. Kill them all, but don't get hit. Okay, so we start out here. Oh god. No, 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 no. Wow, they're everywhere. And I've got like no, uh, no ammo, no special items. Oh god, there it goes. <laughs> So I lose all of my cells when I die, which is really, really unfortunate. But um, you do get to start over, which is kind of nice. I guess we'll do one more run here now that I have the Vine Rune. Maybe I can uh, unlock some new stuff. Find some cool areas uh, in this first little bit of the dungeon. 
And I think it's really interesting that they give you ammo on the bow. It does refill, uh, I guess after a certain amount of time. Ooh, precious. Worth 500 gold. Precious amethyst. Alright, I take. I take, hopefully we find a shop, and then uh, I spend. Now I'm rich, kind of. Alright. Just, uh, just keep from getting hit. That's the whole name of the game. Okay. Not gonna do it. These little bomber guys, relatively easy to take care of, but if there's a bunch of other enemies on the screen, they can be quite a nuisance indeed. So let's let's see what's up here. This the bomber fellow by himself. Boom! Use my uh, rapid vine growth power, and yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, some free weaponage. That's quite nice. I'll replace my beginner's bow and this uh, shuriken. I guess it is. A knife, something like that, has a bit more ammo. I took a hit there that I really didn't need to take, but that's fine. I was just excited about my new, my new knifey. That's what I, I named him. I named him Knifey. It's not very clever, but it's accurate. So I'll climb up here. See, there's so many secret areas and things that I couldn't get to unless I had the, uh, the rune. So here we got uh, talismans. You do get one talisman in the lower left. Right now mine does nothing. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75% is pretty good. Collect cells and gold without having the need to be in range. I would like this, but uh, I can't afford anything in the shop right now. However, there's the bear trap I was talking about earlier. Sturdy shield, ice bomb. Ooh, I really, really want the ice bomb. I wish you could, like, steal things from the shop, but, um, you know, this is not Legend of Zelda DS unfortunately. So we'll uh, try and collect some more goodies and see if I can't uh, scrape some gold up. I don't think it's going to be possible though because um, yeah you're basically required to have the um, the gold pickup perk before you're able to get enough money in the in the first level to to start doing much in the shop and things like that. But that's okay we're gonna live we're gonna be just fine. Um, Gonna increase my weapon damage just a little bit. Ah, and here is a treasure chest. Some free goodies for me. Yes, frost blast. Not not quite as good as the the ice grenade. And I hate to get rid of my throwing knife. Um, but we could do some some interesting things, I'm sure. Frost blast, and then the knife, and I don't have the sword. So this is a bit of an unconventional run that I'm going to try and make, but um. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Break, 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 break! Alright, some free gold! And that didn't use any of my knife ammo. Oh. 4,000 gold, if you break down this door, you will uh, be forced to kill some enemies. Um, it basically puts a curse on you. That means if you get hit by anything at all, then you are dead. <laughs> Which makes the game extremely difficult. Um, here's a whip. Which is kind of nice. I guess I'll just demonstrate the whip. And if you get the, the enemy uh, with the very end of the whip, you'll end up doing a critical hit, which is pretty nice. Extra damage. Uh, but I want to keep this frost blast. I had an interesting interesting vision that I wanted to keep going. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not going well. <laughs> this game is so hard. Oh my god. Yeah, I might, I might just need a, uh, a decent weapon in order to do this. This is not going as I had hoped. Oh, that's right, I have my flask. Get in the flask! Oh god. Just freeze. Okay? Wonderful. That'll, that'll do just fine, I guess. I, <laughs> I think it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to in order to, uh, to do this freezy shit. Um, but I, I think it's mostly because that enemy had a shield that made things a bit more complicated than they needed to be. Actually, you know what? Let's get the bloodbath. Yeah, we'll do that. And now all this shit is unlocked, which, uh, I guess is pretty cool if you get that many cells. Um, I'll swap out the frost blast. And do I want that instead of the throwing knife? I think I'll keep the throwing knife just because it has much more range and less of a charge up than the frost blast. 
Another cool thing is um, the the weapon swings are different for every single weapon, which I find really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead uh, and fill my flask up, which will restore my health as well. And then I'll say goodbye to the Collector. We're going back to the Ramparts. I'm not sure how many levels or stages there are in this game, but I really would like to find out uh, and get good enough to, to do a speed run or something like that. I know sitting down to do a playthrough of this game might be just uh, the littlest bit monotonous, just because, you know, you're going to the same area over and over again. Oh my god, break this door, stun that guy. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do that, I guess. Ugh. Some troubles. We're having a little bit of troubles. Okay. Oh, didn't quite make it back up the ladder that time. Should have dodged like a normal person. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't. I decided to do things my own way, just like I always do. Oh my god. Here's another time door. 52 seconds. I think that's what it's saying, is that this door has been closed for 52 seconds. You needed to get here faster. But I don't think I've even been on this stage for a minute, um, honestly. Oh well. I don't know. I don't know what it's trying to tell me at the moment. And that's really nice, you can throw that, uh, throwing star off the ladder, which I didn't realize before. Boom. It really is quite useful to be able to hit enemies from, uh, that far away. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, don't fall down the hole. Not again. Not again! Alright. We're gonna take this guy down with relative ease. Smack that dude up. Oh, I like this thing. If I had this before, I wouldn't be uh, so scared of the elite monster that we encountered. Oh god. Okay. Everything fine? Not really. But it's gonna be. Oh god. Need to be more careful, I do think. There we go. What's this? Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt plus one. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. I got a mana potion. Mana potion. Nobody can stop me now. Okay. There we go. Just uh, keep making our way through. See what other sort of goodies might await us deeper into this here dungeon. Um, I am running a little low on health. Especially now that I've been hit once more. I'll try and stun this guy. I need my flask. Where's my flask? Ah. So, I'm asking myself why I didn't actually get the lightning bolt blueprint before. The answer is because I didn't make it back to the collector with it. That's a uh, pretty simple reasoning, I suppose. Oh god. Oh, fart. Get rid of these guys. Oh, man. The Ramparts is just, uh, giving me hell, you know? I don't understand why I'm so terrible at this game. <laughs> I wish I weren't, but I just am. And we'll roll out of the way of that guy. And almost killed the shield guy. These throwing knives are relatively weak. I think the, uh, the bleed status is really the, the appeal of these things. Okay, get up here, roll away. Wonderfully done. Alright. That that went more smoothly than I expected. Alright. And mage? No. Elite. Elite shield bearer. Okay. Come at me, bro. Bro, come at me. Bro. Bro. Yeah. Get some bleed status on this suckle. Ow. <laughs> he hits pretty hard. I don't like it. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Maybe patience is uh, the name of the game here. Can I just hide from you? Is that gonna work? Oh boy. My knives, they do nothing! Oh, but you can pick them back up, which is pretty cool. And then roll. Oh my god! He teleported! <laughs> there is a lot to discover in this game, and, um, yeah. Enemies will surprise you like that every once in a while, and 
You just gotta put it in the memory banks and say, next time I'm gonna do a little better. Anyways, friends, this has been Dead Cells. Uh, you can probably expect to see it on the channel again once I master it just a little bit more. Um, cause right now I'm, I'm floundering about, but I really do enjoy the floundering. It's a really, really awesome game, and, uh, I thank Motion Twin for bringing it to my attention, giving me a review copy. And if you guys would like to see more, do please let me know, uh, because I would be happy to do it. I'll probably be playing it in my, my personal free time as well. Um, so, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, friends. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a how-to video on how to make a beginner's bow for your very self. Uh, you just take a stick and a string and put them together. Actually, there's the how-to video right there, whether you liked or not. So, I hope you'll like for that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Rambling a little bit. I'll see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.